We believe Zonder has the opportunity to generate over a 1000% return in the next 5 years. In a previous video, we compared Zonder to its competition with big box hotels and explained Zonder's favorable strategic position in that context. In this video, we take a look at Zonder's position and prospects relative to Airbnb. Disclosure: Opinions presented are not an endorsement by Volt Equity to buy, sell, or hold Volt ETFs or other securities. Volt has a long position in Sonder, and Volt's chief investment officer was an early Sonder engineer. The content presented should not be considered investment advice and is for educational purposes only. Competition or Symbiosis At first glance, Airbnb might seem like a formidable competitor to Sonder. They're not like your Marriott or Hilton. They're tech native, design forward, and appealing to millennials and Gen Z, much like Sonder. But a deeper look shows that at this stage, the relationship between Airbnb and Sonder is more symbiotic than competitive. Airbnb at its core is a marketplace, more akin to Expedia, Booking.com, or Google than a hotel like Hilton or Marriott. Meaning, it's the meeting place where lodging seekers connect with lodging providers. Airbnb is not primarily the lodging provider itself. For Airbnb to succeed, it actually seeks lodging providers, which is why Airbnb singled out attracting the next generation of hosts as one of three key company priorities for 2022. Sonder, on the other hand, is primarily a lodging provider. In fact, Airbnb uses Sonder properties to supply their marketplace. It's a mutually beneficial relationship. Sonder provides a supply for Airbnb's guests to stay. Airbnb provides a demand and eyeballs for Saunders listings to be discovered. The difference in business models allows for a non-competitive, symbiotic dynamic, at least in the near term. That said, Saunders' business model could actually be more compelling in the long run, which is likely to entice Airbnb to eventually compete more directly. The Long-Term Potential of Saunders' Model Marketplaces like Airbnb are compelling because their margins are huge. They take a cut of each booking, 17% for Airbnb, but that cut is mostly margin, around 70% if including customer service and other related expenses. Saunders revenue, on the other hand, incur notable costs, for example, lease payments, furniture, building maintenance, etc. So their property level margins are only expected to reach 32% in 2025. And currently they have negative margins because they're in an early stage of high growth. Theoretically though, in the long term, Sonder has the potential to become a bigger company than Airbnb because of their model. For example, Airbnb's take-home revenue for a $100 booking would be $11.90 assuming today's take rate and margin. So a $100 booking times a 17% take rate would equal $17 in gross revenue times a 70% margin would equal $11.90 in net revenue. Saunders' take-home revenue for a $100 booking is $32, assuming a 32% property level margin. So $100 booking at 32% margin equals $32 of net revenue. This means that Airbnb would need three bookings to match Saunders' one booking take-home revenue, assuming equal booking amount. With more economies of scale, better brand recognition, and more direct bookings, it's not a stretch to imagine Saunders' property level margins approaching 50% and Airbnb's match ratio to become more like 5 to 1. If that became true, Sonder would need just one-fifth the number of Airbnb's bookings to match them in net bookings revenue. This won't happen anytime soon given Airbnb booked a whopping 300 million nights in 2021, but possibly in a decade or more. Because of the compelling take-home revenue per booking, Airbnb might eventually be enticed to create their own supply. This is a strategic move many aggregators marketplaces make. Think about Netflix creating their own movies, or Amazon creating their Amazon Basics line. Why not compete Airbnb? Reason 1. Airbnb has dabbled in this area before. If you didn't know, Airbnb actually led the 160 million Series B round for Lyric, a direct Sonder competitor. But Lyric wasn't able to make things work and shut down during the pandemic, along with Sonder's other competitors. It seems Airbnb's experimental toe dip into this space fizzled out, and it might be some time before Airbnb regains the appetite to test the waters again. Especially since they know now that it would be reason number two, a long and laborious endeavor compared to other opportunities. The failure of Lyric demonstrates that scaling up a business like Saunders is a long, hard, capital-intensive slog. Very different from Airbnb's marketplace model that has very compelling near-term benefits, it's capital light, easy to scale, and has high margins. 
Because of this, it's much easier for Airbnb to lean into the strengths of their marketplace model and go after opportunities that leverage that model like we see them doing with their adjacent Airbnb experiences marketplace. Reason number three, host cannibalization. If Airbnb were to develop a massive amount of their own supply in the top markets following the Sonder model, they would likely start competing against their own hosts, cannibalizing host revenue and potentially souring the individual host community. This is not something Airbnb would take lightly, especially given their reason number four, brand commitments. Airbnb has built a brand around connection and belonging and an emphasis on individual hosts. Brian Chesky in his S1 IPO letter says, when the pandemic hit, we chose to focus on what is most unique about Airbnb, our core business of hosting. We got back to our roots and back to what is truly special about Airbnb, the everyday people who host their homes and offer experiences. We scaled back investments that did not directly support the core of our host community. We will focus on connection and belonging. We will prioritize the individual hosts who deliver it. We will invest in building our community. This emphasis on individual hosts and connection doesn't jive well with the Sonder model, which actually reduces connections with human hosts for the benefit of cost efficiency. Airbnb's brand priorities aren't just fluffy words on paper, but manifest in real investments from the company, as evidenced by their 2022 priorities mentioned earlier. Airbnb continues to invest a ton into a host model that is counter to the Sonder model. Each investment into the host model deepens their commitment to that approach, making it harder to adopt a model that would disrupt it all. The critical element. All that said, if Sonder's growth becomes hard to ignore, Airbnb will likely try to compete. But will Airbnb react in time? Is Sonder preemptively trying to build up defenses? Investors would do well to keep a close eye on these companies and monitor their strategic moves in real time. Because the strategic decisions to be made are so important, it is critical to understand the profile of the leaders behind those decisions. So, in a future video, we'll do a deep dive into Saunders' founder and CEO, Francis Davidson. Spoiler alert, prepare to be impressed. Subscribe to our channel and tap the notification bell so you don't miss it.